thought um, Marshall Archie was going to come in like a flood, man. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of this mm -hmm. is 2nd uh, Ezra 16 and 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings. Right? See, the Lord said the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, all right? Which, that's what's coming. When you read Ezekiel, the second chapter, he, uh, he says, matter of fact, it's 20, he said, what? It was written within, without was written, morning lamentations, morning. morning, and woe, man. Right. So people call it what? The, uh, the, uh, good the, uh, the, the good book. But in this book is a lot of death and a lot of judgment, man. Okay. All right, that's coming to this place. You ain't going to uh, 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 skip away in the in the La La Land, man. The Lord plan on doing a, a lot of uh, judgment. When you read uh, Isaiah, he said his, his garments is going to be what? Dipped in blood. So when the Lord, the Lord plan on doing a lot of killing when he come back. So these people talking about the love of Jesus, you're going to find out what the love of Jesus is. <laughs> Huh? He said, "Cause the Lord said, hey, them that them that hate me love death.' That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. Come. He said, the beginning of oh, and how do you show you show yourself that that that, that you uh, hate the Lord, man? You know what? Disobeying them. That's right. Yep. right. Huh? Eating pork, committing adultery, being a faggot. Yep. All right, breaking what the law, yeah. statutes, and commandments of the Bible. That's right. All right." It's, uh, and, it's, and it also says in uh, Sirach where it says, he that curses Satan curses of his own soul. Right. You know, so they talk about, oh, I love the Lord and I hate Satan. Well, you're not doing what the things that the Lord is telling you to do, so it means you must lo love Satan. Right. But you said you hate Satan, so you're hating yourself. Right. Come on. He said, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear, mm -hmm. the beginning of evils. Mm -hmm. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Mm -hmm. He said, Behold, famine and plagues. Right. See, the Lord said famine and plagues, which is what? Mm -hmm. A lot of food. All right. One day, like they tell you in a grocery store, there's only what? Three days worth of food? Yeah. So let's imagine in a, in a, in a, uh, in a, um, uh, apocalypse when, when, when they, when they crash, let's say when they crash the dollar, so that's another plague that's coming. They're going to actually crash the dollar and what? They're going to what? Implement the RFID chip. Yeah. So in that day, when they crash that dollar, you're going to have people rush those stores, man. They gonna, anything that's not glued to the floor, they taking it, you know? Go ahead. Come He said, behold, famines and plagues, tribulation uh -huh. and anguish uh -huh. are set in scourges for an amendment. Right, to what? To correct you. Right. Read. He says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from the whip from their wickedness. Right, so the Lord said, even Jesus. me bringing these plagues, judging the mm -hmm. earth, these people is not gonna turn from their wickedness, man. Come. They still gonna do evil, all right? That's why the Lord got something called what? ICBM missiles, right? International nuclear uh, ballistic, right? It, it's ballistic, ballistic missiles, missiles. Right. all right? Ballistic. Which is gonna take place what in World War Three? Right. Uh, America is gonna be leveled, man. Leveled. You read about Babylon in the uh, Book of Revelations, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. That's gonna be utterly burned with fire. Yeah. It's talking about this place right here, man. Right, that's right. The Lord saying nothing gonna do it. He's gonna totally burn this place up, man. Go ahead. Uh, and that's the truth for the Bible. That's the truth. Go ahead. It's Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Mm -hmm. But Israel doeth not know. Right, our people, two-thirds of our people, man, they don't they don't know. They don't want to know that they're Israelites. Okay? They don't need they don't even care. Don't. Hey, we tell telling our people that hey, you're, you're, you're the Lord's chosen people, the kingdom of heaven is coming, but before the kingdom of heaven come, these judgments that's written, man, because the Lord said what? Their sins have reached up to the heavens. So somebody got to pay for that, man. All right? And the Lord, hey, for a sacrifice, the Lord requires blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He says, my people do have not considered. Uh -huh. So it's like even when these judgments come forth, like, like the brother was reading Ezra, he said, for all these things, they're not going to turn for me. You see all this wickedness going on in the world. Anybody thinking like, damn, how does God feel about this? You see in your head, he's in control of everything. But look before you, look, look at what's going on. We yeah. just saw a transsexual. Right, right. We live in a yeah. place you can chop off your rod yeah. and be like, right, now you can use the woman's bathroom. Yeah. The Lord yep. made you a man. You a man. That's right. Yep. Yep. Dude, the Lord ain't gonna pay him back for that. Who are you to chop off your chop off your rod and tell me that you're a woman? Yep. That's a spit. You spin in the Lord's face. That's right. Yep. Man, these people they got things twisted, man. See if you, man, go ahead, man. I was sitting on that. 
Cunt. See, because is... when you have a righteous man, and you really, man, it, it pisses you off, man. Go ahead. Cunt. He said, this is uh, 2 Ezra 16. And now, now, now you see why the Lord is going to do the things that he's going to do, man, and the things that's written in the scriptures. That's right. Because these people take it as a light thing. Well, I can do it as the Lord love everybody. Okay. <laughs> well, I feel like... All right, keep feeling that way. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't see what's going on in the Middle East right now? You don't see... Hold on. What about Venezuela? Ain't nobody heard nothing else about Venezuela. Yeah. He just totally blacked out. They over there eating each other, eating the animals. Because why? The, the, the currency done crashed. Yep. All right? Yes, sir. And it's coming right over here to the Americas. Yep. That's right. Right over here. You gonna go right? Last Man. we heard from Venezuela, they was paying fifty dollars for butter, hundred dollars for eggs. <laughs> Damn. That's how, that's how much inflation. Fifty dollars for butter. Yeah. That's yeah. called hyperinflation. Yeah. yeah. Hyperinflation. That's the first time you gonna see me steal. Steal. Fifty dollars for some butter. <laughs> You just, stole, you, just, you just stole some of the day. Hey, <laughs> in Venezuela, in Venezuela uh, the patients in the hospitals, the doctors have to pay for the meds for them to take it. Stop. Hey, hey, wait, wait. In Venezuela, yeah, no, no. In Venezuela, you got women. No. You got women that were prominent lawyers, doctors, selling. They they selling themselves. They're not a prostitute. They yep. hiring themselves. Yep. I heard about that. She ain't want to record no more. Where yeah. is it? In Venezuela. In Venezuela. And Venezuela was it's one our of people. the richest countries, and it was like a, a real uh, see, oil. See, but these are things, that's what you should record. And really consider the things that you, we said in your head. You yeah. know? Really consider the judgments yeah. of the Lord, yeah. man. I started to see that's, that's, got man, to that's why, man, it's going to man, man, bro. It got red to little north. This <laughs> one, when you see these people get punished, man, and the Lord bring these scourges upon them, man. It's gonna be a man. It's gonna be a Barack beautiful Obama fault. It's, it's Barack gonna Obama fault. Scripture say that. Man, it's, it's gonna be a beautiful day. That's right. These motherfuckers talking about yeah, oh, happy day. You yeah. goddamn right. It's gonna be a happy day. All right. Let me get my tap dance shoes. Let me see you niggas getting put to death in the streets of America, man. All right. You goddamn right. It's gonna be beautiful. 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 What is that? Tell me it's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. Go oh, ahead. Come. You're going to be a damn, bro. Because these these, the these people deserve death, man. That's why, what's that? Uh, second Edge 9 chapter, you said the same about well, death by pain. Death and pain, man. See, 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 they think this is some old happy go no. This ain't the Christian church. We're going to tell you, you're going to die. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I want you to right. tell me too. That's what I've been telling my pastor. I don't want that, ooh, I ain't gonna tell him this part. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on everything, you feel me? I wanna know what's gonna happen. It's written all through the scriptures, man. We, cause these people are some damn fools. Tell him I drink the blood of Jesus, we, 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 we read all through the Jesus. scriptures, rather it's, it's the gospels. Well, the Lord told them he gonna, they gonna die in their sins. That's right. <laughs> How you get around that? Lord said, oh, uh, uh, I came to bring a sword upon the earth. Yep, I will for sure. <laughs> Go ahead, man. So how, how do you get around that, man? You see, the white man, he done gave y'all this whole fucked up perception of the Lord, man. See, but the Lord, he's gonna, he's about to smack you back into reality, man. <laughs> smack back into reality. Like being sleepy, you just... This is, uh, brother said, man, nothing's better when people than you When you can't eat, then people, that's when people are gonna really be like, damn. Angry. You ain't yourself. They gonna, they gonna be angry. angry. They, they, they gonna be like, fuck. They gonna be fucked. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, what's going on? That's what people are going to really consider. That's right. And the, the judgment we were just reading about in Jeremiah, that's when people are going to be like, oh, man, like, man I should have I should have listened. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Well, why would God do this? That's when people are going to really start considering God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are going to be like, there couldn't be no God. This shit going on. Yeah, God. that's what they're going to say. Then, then you're you going to have some people be like, man, this is God. Yeah, God <laughs> angry. God. God is angry. Facts. <laughs> You know? I say that when it rains and stun them. Yeah. Somebody can piss God off today. Go on here. Can I get this real quick? It says, uh, this is Rock 25 and 7. It says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. Mm -hmm. And the tenth I, I will utter with my tongue. A man that, uh, that a man that have joy in his children, mm -hmm. and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Mm -hmm. So that's a very delicate, not delicate, that's a very, uh, uh, heroic sight yeah. to it. Hey, this damn light play, we hanging niggas from this light pole, fucking delicious. They start rapping in the damn neighborhoods. Yeah. Oh, they don't hang a nigga from that. You know? 
Do us a favor. Do us a favor. Help out. Help, help us. Show your friends. Yeah, show your friends, your family. Because the Lord's gonna make Lord's gonna make it that ain't nobody gonna be like, oh man, I ain't nobody. Oh, no, you knew. Sitting right there, crap. Eat your little baby. <laughs> uh, Eating that little motherfucker. Eat little baby. <laughs> Give me that little motherfucker. <laughs> Give me that little motherfucker. Put some, some lorries on that bitch. <laughs> no, they ain't gonna drown them in lorries. Lorries. If they ain't already ate that. Yeah. <laughs> no, niggas drinking lorries. Lorries in a family. Table, niggas drinking table salt. No, Damn. You gonna get bad out here, bitch. <laughs> drinking table salt. Shit. Gonna home, we gonna be in this bitch like Haiti. Man. Motherfucking mud pies. pies. Mixing shit Gra with it. Gra gravel pies. Gravel pies. <laughs> Turd burger. Sorry, turd burger. This is a big Right. All that shit. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 32. Mm -hmm. It says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song mm -hmm. of one that hath a pleasant voice yep. and can play well on an instrument. Mm -hmm. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. Yep. And when this cometh to pass, you <laughs> should see the face. <laughs> Oh yeah, she yeah was, it, was, it was priceless. Yeah. Bro, she, 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 like, we, she, 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 we on the internet, so I don't even give a shit. We already recorded. Already recorded. You know? Y'all know it's not without acts. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Upload it. Yeah, we're recording now. Uh, uh, Upload it. Go ahead. It says, it says, and when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Uh huh. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. See? We're going to read that part. He said, lo, and it will come. Yeah. Because the scriptures say, uh, Habakkuk, do it. Terry, wait for it, man. It surely will, it surely will come. It surely is going to come, man. Lord, man. People, man. I'm waiting. Uh, I said, I'm ready. This is uh, Ezekiel 33. 33. It says, and when this comes to pass, this, this is not the love of Jesus up there, man. The other white man. He got y'all fucked up, man. Got y'all fucked up. Then we're gonna go back into that Ezra's, man. Come on. Go on, go on. Finish come. It, brother. It says, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Right. Then shall they know that a prophet has been, been amongst them. Man. Then people gonna be like, they gonna really consider like, man, some dudes when that corner was fucking right. Mm-hmm. We thought, we thought we thought they were crazy. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. You say the, uh, the, 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 the spiritual man is a madman. You know? These people think we is a madman. So they going in and out the liquor store. They can drink big liquor. They just can't. Those cool. Let them drink. The scripture say, hey, they don't drink wine without a song, baby. <laughs> they gonna be able to uh, pull up in their little pickup truck right there, boy. Get that 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 that, that little that little pint of uh, uh, seagulls and turn on motherfucking Ryan Isley, baby. Ain't gonna be none of that. A little pint of Dimitri. A little pint of Dimitri. <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> no, man, they should not drink wine with a song. This is it's gonna be bitter when they do drink. It ain't gonna be like, man. I Crying and shit. Right, such and such as that. Living in the bottle. Yeah, right, living in the bottle. <laughs> I just put a briefcase for the lift. Look, eat. They have it. 50 can. Okay. Isaiah yeah. chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah. You better be trying to seek him why, 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 why he's being found. You know? Yeah. All you gotta do is come up here. All right? Y'all seeking why, why he may be found, man. But for what? It says, call 
ye upon him while he is near. So he call ye upon him while he is Hey, when the Lord decides to open up the floodgates on you niggas, he ain't gonna be near, man. The Lord said, what? Because you have rejected knowledge, I'm gonna reject thee. That's right. So you're gonna be rejected in that day, man. Totally. <laughs> Nigga gonna be talking. Oh God, Lord, Jesus, Lord, God, I receive it. Lord nice. gonna be like, what? First of all, he gonna be like, who the fuck is the uh, 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 No, no, no. Uh, give me Ezekiel 9 chapter. Nine? Yeah. Okay. He, he, he just wanna hear you die, man. Nine and one. Yeah. Nine and four. Nine and four. Yeah. This is uh. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4, and the Lord said unto him, Go through the mist of the city, through the mist of, of the city, through the mist of Jerusalem, right. and set a it, mist of Jerusalem, talking about our people. He right. set a mark upon their foreheads mm -hmm. of the men that, that mark represents the represents the mouth. Okay. Starting with what? The name of the Lord. Yeah, I'm about to shot. Alright? It's good to say, then they call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Then what? There's wisdom and knowledge and understanding mm. of the scriptures. Okay. Go ahead. God says, go through the midst of Jerusalem uh, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations. Right. So you got some men that sign and cry for all the wickedness that's going on. All the evils they see. Okay. They, 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 they mad. They hate looking at it. You know? Scripture says, uh, hey, evil and love the good. So what's wrong with these people? These people are doing the opposite. They loving the evil and hate the good. You know? Yeah, that's what that's it's like it's backwards. What he was saying earlier, it's backwards. Like the good, I mean the bad have everything. You feel me? Pretty and sure. the good ain't got nothing. Why these people ain't been putting this shit? This is Isaiah 5. Because why did, uh, uh, what's that? Hey, give me, cause that's a good question, brother. Uh, Ecclesiastes. 8, 8, 8 and 11. Yeah, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'll... This is Isaiah 5 and 20. He says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. You see? Scripture. Yeah. <laughs> Scripture, man. Scripture, my man. He said that they put darkness for light see? and, and they, light for darkness. They put darkness for light. All right. Oh, oh, it's okay to be, uh, mm -hmm. give us transgender rights, making it light, like it's good. Yeah, like it's yeah. no big deal. He was born like that. No, the fuck he wasn't, did he? Right. Born a goddamn man. You gonna, you gonna, uh, 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 get, get titties and shit. I mean, poor You got, you got, matter of fact, I was watching a video the other day. It was two twins that was born. Both of them gay. But one of them decided he wanted to go further oh and become a damn woman. <laughs> wow. You know? Just wicked, man. Huh. Yeah, that motherfucker all big, big fat nigga, man. Like Magic Johnson's son. Yeah, like that, that nigga right there, man. <laughs> That's a lot of real. Fucking Magic Johnson. Man, he, Magic Johnson, I don't got a problem with my mouth, man. I'll be like, nigga. I hired somebody to kill that nigga, man. man. Talking about he my damn son. Who the fuck he not? Huh. That nigga be putting the fucking dirt, man. Hey, that, that's scripture. Like and this is this right here. He said that. It's He says that. Hey, how, do you, how do you even accept something like that? You can't. Fuck it, faggot. But they, hey, he says, but put bitter for sweet. Yeah, but put bitter. Because that's bitter, man. That's bitter as hell, That's man. bitter. Put bitter for sweet. Go ahead, brother. And sweet for bitter. And sweet for bitter. Because his word is this is sweet, man. Supposed to be delicious to you, you know? Yep. Now they making it better. They trying to make the Bible in uh, California. Anybody that own the Bible, they got to register as a weapon. They trying to ban the Bible. Damn. Yeah, they about a couple months ago. Anybody that passed legislation, anybody that own the Bible, got to register it as if they own a weapon. Because this Bible is a weapon. Hey, did you see that? See right there. That's what I see right there. Uh, being unfolded right before your eyes because it's. It'll start there, and then they'll push it all over the United States. And it States. is a weapon. The scriptures say the word of the Lord is shot to any two-man sword. Con. Here it's dividing yeah. asunder. All right? So they say this is concerning the hearts and the spirit. The heart and the man. That's right. That, this Bible, it, it fucking dismantles. Dismantles your word. Huh? That's a perfect example. Yeah. Jr. you.
Cause she cut, yeah, that What it says about the marrow? Cause he probably thought nothing. He was like, oh, I'm coming to hit the love of Jesus. <laughs>